Hello and welcome to Patched. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matt Phillips. How's things, mate? Good. Great. As usual. Finding finding uh, extra money been between cushions or anything like that to, to buy a PS5 Pro? No. no. I've been trying to look at those images and look at the blades of grass and the difference of fidelity versus 60 frames a second because <laughs> the one thing i look at is grass yeah that's I just, yeah i don't get it but yes yeah so i guess the, that very on the nose kind of introduction there is uh referencing the fact that the ps5 pro has been finally revealed we've known it's been coming for quite some time there's been plenty of leaks um I'm surprised someone just didn't like the PS4 Pro. I think it was at some point someone straight up had like a, a physical box, like the actual console, months before it actually came out in like Thailand or something weird like that. We didn't have any of those sorts of stories this time around, but they've announced it. Uh, people can pre-order it from the 26th, which I think is like this coming Friday. No, no, it's like a week and a half away still. What day yeah. are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's speaking grand final just already. Sure, already, already jump into the grand final. Um, Fingers crossed the cats make it. Anyway, um, yeah, so PS5 was revealed. It was like a nine-minute video that Mark Cerny was on. Um, worst kept secret is worst kept secret in the business. What do you think of it as a console? Before we focus on the price side of things, as a console, I looked at it and went, "Yep, looks like a PS5 with a couple of racing stripes on it." That's that was my first thought of it. it was just I know that's what the, I think. The, does the Slim, the Slim have that has, as well? I oh. have. Yeah, it has one, um, one little kind of cut to it, I guess. Oh, so this one has two racing three? stripes. Was it even now. three? So three. Oh, they're going three. But yeah, I just looked at it and went, cool. It looks exactly the same as a PS5 with no disc drive. How do I do this without? And or show. There you go. Oh, there there's, you go. There's your single racing stripe. Thank you very much, PlayStation Australia. So what do you, what do you, so what do you what do you try to say here? You reckon they'll just give you another one and hope for the best? I mean, it'd be it'd be nice if they're if uh, if they've got review units like like this one available. That that'd be well, it'd save me twelve hundred dollars. But um, I'm not banking on it. Um, we'll just we'll just see how that Maybe, one goes. What happens if you meet halfway? Meet halfway. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll transact and do some weird dumb financial shit. That, that who knows is possible. Um, I kind of only was half listening as I was trying to like grab the console there without breaking everything. But um, so sorry, yeah, go again. Kind of the console itself, you just yeah, a bit under racing stripes. Yeah, racing stripes. No stand. No, no stand. stand. As the slim I, doesn't come with one either. To be fair, I know, but it's just I just find it funny that they could not give you a stand, even though it can go flat. It doesn't go flat, flat, but it just looks better. When you stand it, yeah. So the one that I've got I, here I just find that funny. I, doesn't have a stand. Yeah, I've just yeah, I just find it funny to have to put it in fine print down the bottom that stands not available, and I just look at it and go, that's that's what people are getting angry about is not, yes, the twelve hundred dollar Australian we should say Australian, Australian. dollar, yeah, sorry, that's, yes, but and people are getting upset about what a forty dollar stand, or it could be more. I don't know, it could be a hundred twenty dollars stand. They could just up the price and say. This one has racing stripes as well. I don't know. It's just... It's a different one to the... Yeah, it would be, because it's a slim. This one might be a slim. I feel, like the, I feel like the base will still be the same. Um, I think they just had to come up with like a different stand because of the the discless sort of versions. Um, and this will just be a discless console straight out the gate anyway. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that. I could be I could be wrong. It could also just be the exact same stand that the, the standard old PS5 always came with. I haven't seen what the PS5 stand, vertical stand. Vertical. Oh, Do they no. sell? so it's 50 Australian oh. dollars. Oh, that's right. We've looked this up before. It's 50 Aussie dollars. Have we? Ah. Yeah, I, I, I remember. Do I not remember. remember. Fifty dollars for a stand, for a piece of plastic. For a piece of plastic. You might as well go do. A, you might as well go find a three D printer, and it probably still costs. $50 build your own stand. Or well, build your own stand. Oh, There's you can one. you can buy one on Timu for fifteen dollars. Oh, stay away. It, from it, that it, it, it won't is, be. It won't be what you order. Stay but... away from Timu. <laughs> I, some of the crap I see on Timu, I just go no. Um, like, even I have standards. The Timu is well below no. those standards. Well below. It's just like, oh, hey, download the app. 
no, no. Get, get that rubbish away from me pretty much but with uh with uh nine minutes video when i was googling or youtubing ps5 pro the first thing that came up was a one minute trailer and to start off with i'll scratch my head going what's everyone complaining about this ps5 pro and then i finally found the nine minute video sat there watched it twice just uh soak it all up give my head soak it all up and i'm sort of surprised i think they've been learning from xbox of how to present a product so or even nintendo for that matter too they've made the same mistake that they made with the ps4 pro which is doing a side-by-side -side comparison when you're putting the video up on yes. youtube where youtube yes. compression is the thing means that no one can notice the difference um and so like because i've had the ps4 pro versus ps4 experience i understand and i have no doubt there is a difference there but it's just not something you can see when it's all compressed like that you almost need to do a vintage playstation thing and have your own like hosted on your own website it's completely uncompressed it can be who cares how big and people can just watch it there and see see the difference because it just doesn't work on youtube yeah because i think people complain and go what's the difference between this and this it's like it's that thing in the newspaper saying spot the difference between these two pictures and if you looked at it they're the same look picture. Enough, they look exactly the same. There might be, like I said, less blades of grass than the other picture. Yeah. That's it. That's what I was looking at because I was looking going, what's the difference? Oh, wait, that one's window's not as shiny as that one's window and all this stuff. I'm thinking, are we really trying to pick out all the small things here instead of, you know, the gameplay itself? But look at it going, hey, that look at that window. Look at that crowd in Ratchet and Clank. If you're looking at the crowds in Ratchet and Clank, I think you got problems. I think, or, I, I think the yeah, I've realised that the, the, game. the thumbnail probably needs to be the, the, the they're the same picture meme from the office. It's exactly the same. It probably, it probably yes. needs to be that meme. So I'll be I'll be making that. Or up you get that, or, or you get that um that meme of the grandma with the glasses doing. <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, we'll go with that. Because um, that, that's what—that's how I felt when I looked at it. As, it was like, if I had glasses, that is the exact same response I would have of <laughs> looking at the difference between high fatality <laughs> and PS5 amazing. Pro. And it's just like, oh. I mean, yeah, like you said, like, put it, it might look good when you look at it, but you look, put it on YouTube, it doesn't have the same result. No. You need pictures. Put pictures on your blog because you love blogs so love much. love the blog. Why don't you put it up there, your blog of pictures of comparing your fidelity of the PS5 and your PS5 Pro? Yeah. Or your 60 frame rate, your 60 FPS versus PS5 Pro, whatever. Do it on YouTube. A bad idea. Or not wise. Yeah. So I guess if we take a moment to kind of, I guess, summarize, because, yeah, the videos don't do it any justice. If we just kind of summarize some of the things that uh, Mark Cerny was talking about in the video, and, man, that guy's voice just wins you over pretty quickly. It's a, I guess that's why they put him on board there, because, like, that's, his voice is probably going to sell a few people. But um, Yes, I think compared to what we've had in the past with, you know, former president Jim Ryan, it is a massive improvement of someone actually knowing how to speak. Well, I mean, he's the one that designed it too, and um, they've gotten him on board for that too. a few of these things in the past. He just and he has he has that voice; it gets you. Um, I'm sure that alone has maybe convinced a few people to buy a PS5 Pro. But anyway, um, as I read kind of some of the the key beats here, there was kind of three key pillars to the console. They the, big three, yeah, that he the big on. three. Upgraded GPU with 67% more compute units than the current PS5 console and 28% faster memory. This enables up to 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making games run even faster. Advanced ray tracing that provides more dynamic reflection and refraction of light at more than double the speed of the current PS5 console. And AI-driven upscaling with PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, a machine learning-based technology that provides super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail. These are words directly from the PlayStation blog. Um, and then on top of that, there's, a, I guess, a few other little changes or additions and changes as well. So it comes with a two terabyte solid state drive um, as well as a controller, business as usual there, but obviously the bigger bigger memory. Um, PS5 Pro will also launch with the latest wireless technology, Wi-Fi 7 uh, in territory supporting the standard. 
Other features include PS5 Pro Game Boost, which can apply to more than 8,500 backwards compatible PS4 games playable on the PS5 Pro. Um, 8,000? 8, 8,500 PS, PS4 games. I will disagree with that. Oh no, there's, there's, there's far more than that. Far more than that. But I just find it funny because we just go off topic for a second with Astrobot, where they had all their like little, I don't know what, little Easter eggs or character, Astrobot characters from other franchises. Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah, I think someone said, oh, we just want to put them in there so the younger generation can play the older games. And then everyone started grilling them saying, well, maybe you should put a, your PS1 games up on the catalog. And I thought, yeah, sick bird. Got him good. Got him good there. Got him. Um... And other, other like that's that's all the core of it when it comes to kind of some of the specs and numbers and those oh, sorts now. of things. Um, so go for it. Okay. So upscale upscales. So guess what? Now finally for Final Fantasy VII remake, you can see the more pixelation on the door. The door's already been fixed because there's the PS5 version of it anyway. And also, but now finally we can bring back Spider Man, and we can put those puddles, put puddles in because that ray trace is going to put <laughs> so much reflection on that water. So we're, we're kicking we're goals. Finally we're getting real puddles. Goals. We're getting puddles back in Spider-Man with the reflection that everyone have always wanted. Congratulations. So you've touched on ray tracing with the puddles. You you've touched on uh, what PSSR can do with uh, the extra detail and those sorts of things. Uh, any sort of way that you're going to... Oh, here's what we can do with extra GPU. 67% more compute units. Whatever that is. Well, I say, yeah, you can tell that to an idiot and I'll just say... That sounds like a big number, and I have no idea what it means. Yeah. I just look at it and go, so it's just going to render a mountain quicker. Something that already yeah, six, did it quick enough. more units to, uh, to render 28% faster, and then this enables... Oh, sorry, 28% faster memory, 67% more compute yeah. units, so 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making them run even faster. Great. Yes, it's just fancy numbers for silly people that don't know what any of that means i'll just look and go oh yeah. cool because because even at the start of that presentation they went back and go went and said let's have a look what we did with the ps5 and they said oh we did this and this and this i was like oh yeah did too because there's one thing i always notice with spider-man 2 when you went to fast travel you didn't have to sit there and wait it was just instant bang and i thought that is the coolest thing ever that playstation's ever done just and it's not just spider-man as well pretty much every first party game of any playstation game you look at god of war ragnarok loading basically not within about point, point 0.5 of a second done same with horizon forbidden west say weird thing about horizon forbidden west they talked about it oh they didn't did yeah. comparison. no comparison i'll scratch my head going maybe it wasn't ready you yet showed a comparison. yeah but you saw a comparison with the last was part two a game that came out Five years ago, already been remastered. Spider-Man 2, which came out last year. And the other game I completely forgot about. Um, one more there. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank. And they also I mean, it's just like, Insomniac oh, hey. doing all the legwork again, right? Again. <laughs> it's just nothing, what's, what's new? 66%. They're just carrying. But they mentioned I mean, a few other games be. on top of that. So there's Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed, Shadows, Demon's Souls, Dragon's Dogma 2, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Gran Turismo 7, Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ratchet & Clank, Rift Apart, The Crew Motorfest, The First Descendant, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and more. Um, more. The crazy thing is a lot of those games, not all, but the majority of those games have a PS4 version. Like it's, it's like, oh, okay, like, like the... So the, the jump is still kind of not what it could be because of the limitations of the console, the earlier console. But anyway, that's that's by the by, I guess. Um, time to start pinch, uh, pinching some penny, uh, pennies, though, people, because yeah, it's going to be out on November 7th, so you don't have a lot of time, and it's going to cost... Uh, uh, let's let's uh, throw PlayStation a bone and try and make it sound slightly better. $1,199.95. Not quite $1,200. Um, no, it doesn't sound as bad. No, you say twelve hundred, you go, ooh, and I say eleven ninety nine, ninety five. So eleven ninety nine, you're like, oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, no, not those, that fi- bad those, fi- those five cents. Um, is there that's any scenario where you could see yourself picking up a pro? 
Yeah, if it doesn't sell and they just want to get rid of them all, oh, yeah. that'd be the only <laughs> chance. Sale. That'd be the only way I'm ever gonna purchase a PS5 Pro, or when the next gen console comes out. Yeah, because okay. then it'll just absolutely drop in price because you know they've got to get rid of them all. Unlike Pokemon, where you got to catch them all, it's just no chance that it's a lot i know people have put examples like oh you can play in about uh 12 spending 1200 dollars on a ps5 but you're willing to go like buy a tv or this or that or buy, spend 1200 dollars on something probably more useless than a ps5 pro and you think if they go yeah fair point yeah that's it <laughs> i think it's just when you hear the price compared to a ps5 it's a 400 dollars difference and you kind of scratch your head at it because when the PS4 Pro came out, it was around, I, you could correct me on this, but I sort of feel like it was around the same price of when the PS4 came out originally. Um, this is weird because usually when technology gets better, it gets <laughs> cheaper. But in this case, technology got better and expensive at the same time. And you sort of scratch your head at that. And it's what? only taken 13 years to finally get two terabyte hard drive in a console it has taken that long and still a call of duty will take up like a quarter of it or gta god, trying, god, god forbid gonna, what gta 6 is going to do to people's i was uh, going to download call of duty the other day and it said up to 320 gigabytes i thought oh my okay god. next i'm going to play something else instead that's just no because you'll have six Ridiculous. weeks to to wait anyway while you while you wait for the game to well in my on. case never <laughs> But um, I do find it funny that old buddy, old pal, Jeff Keighley came in and was like, oh, but here's the other price of PlayStation consoles released with inflation and it's just had all the prices and this and that, which which came to a funny article I found by Hard Drive. Oh, that, they've always got good stuff. Yes, uh, Sony announces pro version of Boots, oh, whoops, and Boots for Jeff Keighley to lick. <laughs> I did see that one. Um, and I thought, yeah, that's a fair one. That's a pretty good one. I'm not going to lie. Look, I. It's well established that I can be a bit of a PlayStation stand at times. I have, I mean, well, the, pr- the price no is a, no, the the price is a lot. Um, don't get me wrong, but I don't mind people, you know, referencing the inflation and those sort of things. It's it's a thing. Um, even since like twenty twenty, how things have kind of changed specifically, let alone anything that's kind of gone on beforehand. So, look, the price is a lot. Um, and I think it's 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 an obstacle for people, but also I think the people who are buying it are the same sorts of people who are looking to you know the the console equivalent people of those who are trying to soup up their PCs and that sort of thing. Like it's it's only targeting a very specific group of PS5 players. I would anyway, say sort of like the boutique thing. Oh, iPhone users. Yeah, they'll just go buy the next iPhone because it's the next iPhone. Even oh, but, though no, I think even these are different because like. I would That's fit that. I, mean, yeah. I would fit that bill when it comes to PlayStation consoles. Um, now I had the the luxury in this case of uh, the slim got sent to me, the the portal got sent to me, the pulse earbuds got sent. But like I would have bought all of these things myself um, because, firstly, I I mean I obviously love the love the brand and I could see utility in all those things, so especially when it came to the portal. Um, I was so up the arse of remote play with all my experiences using the um what you call it i've already forgotten its name now because uh, the backbone the backbone grip for the phone um that as soon as they announced a dedicated thing for that i'm like yeah absolutely because i'll get heaps of use out of that but like even for myself i look and go oh, i don't really need to it's not going to address too much for me i will probably end up getting a pro at some point and i'm not talking about whether i get sent one or not i'm working on the assumption here that i don't get one because i i do think it's kind of unlikely in this case but um I'll, I feel like I'll get one at some point, but I don't feel like I need to rush straight away because when this thing comes out on November 7th, there's nothing really new that's going to justify it, I don't think. That's true, Like, yes. it, all the games I'd be playing would be things that are... You already have. That, are, that I've already, already played, played, potentially, and finished. And I don't get much time to go back and replay games as is, so I don't really see much need for it. I'm just double-checking kind of the release calendar for the year, and I know there's some stuff that'll come out kind of late after that, like... Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out a few days before the console. Um, Lego, a... the the reporting Lego. is that Lego oh, Horizon, Horizon, yeah, it doesn't have a date yet, but there was something that leaked. Lego Horizon Adventures is apparently going to be coming out on November fourteenth, 
Dragon Quest Three Remake comes out on the fifteenth, but like none of these are going to be pushing the console in crazy ways. This feels uh, like well, Lego period. Horizon will look great. Don't get me wrong, but like it's yeah. it's just Lego. It's, a Lego game. it's 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 the particles though that that could still push what a, co- a console yes. can do. That that shiny plastic of ray trace is really going to pay off with that. Well, did you ever see that Lego? Lego I've forgotten the, na- the, ga- the name of the game now, but there was a Lego like genuine ray traced everything. It was crazy what they did. I'm gonna have to see if I can find what the what the game was I called. Think I know. Oh. I was shocked by how good it looks. Um, From a Lego game, that's not words I would ever think I would hear. Lego, yeah. Lego, Lego, not Lego World. Yeah, that Lego game looks good. It's just Lego, man. Don't worry about it. That's what all Lego looks like. Damn, look at that shiny Lego head. That ray trace it is unbelievable, that Lego's head. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Can I filter? We can't just, find it. Just going to have to go... Oh, eight, a to Z and eventually scroll down to L but it's going to be super oh, no. slow going because there's hundreds of games in my thousands of games actually in my PS4 slash PS5 library but um, I'll find it. I'll find it soon enough so like I could see Horizon you know pushing it but it's not it's not the thing that's going to get me going oh I have to get a PS5 Pro so I can play this game in its best possible way like so I guess it's going to be down to like when does a Ghost of Tsushima 2 come out um can you imagine, like, if Indiana Jones, when it comes to PlayStation next year, becomes one of the main drivers of this thing because of how good it looks? Oh, imagine! Imagine, Can you imagine, imagine Xbox, Xbox <laughs> own company. Imagine <laughs> Xbox own company selling PlayStation Five Pros from its game. That would you would be scratching your head in absolute confusion. God, this this doesn't. How does this work? I don't understand how this works. It's just utter confusion. It's like how does an Xbox game sell so many PS Five Pros? speak to Sea of Thieves um, with how well it's sold for PlayStation but yeah it's um, oh my god I'm still I'm still scrolling through the B's at the moment what for Lego just, like, as in I'm just scrolling through my PlayStation oh, okay. like the PlayStation app and just and it, every now and then it hits yet. the there's no search oh, functionality yeah, there it only oh, takes so you know, to, so you can't filter it to L that's a bit silly it only um Gives you search like there's just a general sort of search and that instantly it just recommends Lego things the 2K store. Drive. No, no, it was like no. a I don't maybe Lego Builder's Journey. I feel like is a name that I'm, I'm just I just like uh, Brick Tales. I'm, I'm just uh, things are scrolling a bit faster. I'm up to F now. I've just got to scroll through realize, five thousand Final Fantasy games. Just realize how many Lego games there are. It's, it's absolutely insane. ridiculous. Oh, so I'm, up to, I'm up to H now. I J K L. We're getting there. We're getting I, Lego brawls. J Lego Lego battles. No, that's the DS game. That's definitely. Here we go. I've hit, I've hit L. Here we go. Where are we? Two. Oh, here we go. Yep, Lego Builders Journey. Um, oh, was what okay. it was called. It's super cheap. Um, for anyone who is actually interested, in it, and it looks crazy good, and it's a Lego game. Um, so I highly Very recommend. Crazy. And, like, it's a good, fun time, too. So, highly recommend that game for people. But anyway, a Lego game is not going to get me rushing out to buy the console. I, you know, I think about December, the only game currently is Indiana Jones. I look at next year and I go, okay, January has nothing for me that's going to push it. Uh, February has nothing that's going to push it. Um, March has nothing so far. I'm like, okay, so that gives me a few months where I'm not going to be, like, jumping all over myself to, to, do it, uh, to play a pro. Um which is not ideal. You kind of want something there straight out the gate to be like, this is what we haven't made it for this. But also, if you've if you've got the pro, you got a better experience than anyone else with this game. But instead, we're you know waiting for maybe Venom, maybe Ghost of Tsushima two, maybe something from Naughty Dog, maybe like God, who who knows what at this point because there's just not a lot that's been revealed, which sucks. Um, so yeah, I will. I guess in short, I will eventually get the console. Um, it's just a matter of when, for the most part. Twelve hundred dollars is a lot. Um, I'd completely forgotten until I started looking at the slim. Now the slim that they sent me has a disc drive on it, so I don't even have to worry too much about my old oh. console. Maybe I could potentially trade in my old console and you know just pop it off. Um, yes, I could just pop it off if I wanted to, but oh, okay. But um, this one, yeah, this one just comes with the 
Look, th- sorry, this one came with the drive. I completely forgot that. But um, that that is helpful. That does give me then another console that's in the house that I could potentially trade in. Just pop my extra SSD out of it first and then trade it in. Um, but either way, like it's it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, and I totally understand why the general person wouldn't want to pick it up. I feel like there's only two people. It's we're getting a PS5 for the first time, and so we're already got a disposable income. What's an extra few hundred dollars? Or you're that crazy hardcore person that um, that's like a real tech tech file. Um, and even the PS4 Pro sold like 15 million consoles apparently. And this is a, we're talking about a console here that's well over I think over 120 million at this point. So it didn't do much. Like it's very very much targeted a small portion of the the crowd. So no big deal. You're just trying to suddenly plug it all the time though, because every time you tilt your head, the word Pro right there upside down oh, well but... <laughs> yeah let's just, let's just say oh we can fix that Aeon. there we go <laughs> we are pl- paid shills of playstation me with all the stuff that i bought before and maddo's not even trying to be subtle with uh with his allegiance now with the headset as well so get around and us people check out, check out the blue behind me is that yeah not enough? Got, got the coloring going I mean, I, mean, got... I need a um i need a playstation neon now just lasers in the back I mean, oh, that actually, I've just ruled that there's an Xbox fridge there. True, but that, you can't help. I could put a PlayStation logo on that, and we're set. Where's my, actually, where's, where's my fridge? Where's fridge? Uh, no, we're not talking about Xbox fridges. World's dodgiest electrical appliance of 2023. Oh, what's he bringing out? <laughs> oh, the old dodgy fridge. <laughs> it's just readily available. So anyway, it's just a footrest. A Pretty door much. stop, that's what it. Look, it's Let's cool to have it. But... It's cool that big... I think it's cool that Xbox brought out a fridge because everyone said, hey, that looks like a fridge. They just said, you know what? We'll Fuck do it, that. We'll do it. And then they did a toaster. I would, la- I would laugh. I mean, I would laugh if that fridge sold more than its console because that would be quite embarrassing if they got outsold by a fridge that looks exactly like their console. Oh my god! Which one's you, you can buy. You know that website, Mighty Ape. Yes. I don't know if it's a overly reputable one here, but like, you can buy that Xbox Series S toaster here in Australia from next Monday. <laughs> Get out of here for ninety dollars. <laughs> ninety dollars for a toaster. It better be a good toaster, or is it going to consume all the power in my house just like that fridge? Um, what's the it games do? Besides... are doing it for 100 due October apparently but so what's it do besides uh, cook toast crumpets probably does crumpets uh, it cooks not only does it cook the toast but it cooks it has it got an Xbox logo and it has on an it. Xbox logo on it so like you're getting okay, part... okay. you're getting part of the bread that's uncooked <laughs> as a result so you're just getting half cooked toast yeah just the, the center's gonna go get cooked and that's it so another dodgy product of 2024 is going to go to Xbox once again. We're going for the trifecta. What else can they can they release? Yeah, I don't a know. washing machine oh. that doesn't work. A dryer that burns your house down. An iron that doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, waffle pe- people, iron. people made go. their Xbox Series X's uh, kind of vape at the beginning when they first came out. Maybe they could just put out an Xbox branded vape. No, a smoke machine. That's even better. <laughs> uh, That'd be great. We're well and truly off topic now, but I'm all for it. Um, any other thoughts on the PS5 Pro? Well, I would say it was a lovely presentation to show off your PS5 Pro, but I think at the end of the day, the way I look at it, if I want the choice of frame rate or fidelity, I'm going frame rate because... I don't want my game to run like shit. But it also doesn't work for me either. I know it does both. But for me, my screen doesn't do anything better than 60 frames a second. So it's utterly pointless for me to get a PS5 Pro. One, it does 120 or whatever, yeah. It does 120 when I can't do 120. Yeah. So there's no point for me to buy it. It's like a bigger said, I, yeah. I may one day buy one, but at the moment, every, every other sucker can go punch on with each other. 
and I'll just casually come, walk it in, grab one, while you keep fighting over a PS5 Pro. Pretty much. While I laugh. It's going to be a time. Um, yeah, I've already kind of highlighted my points. I'll buy it at some point down the road, but I'm not going to be rushing out day one, most likely, I don't think. Um, all right, we'll wrap things up there. If you enjoyed this episode of oh, Patch, actually, oh, go on. I will. I will buy one if it comes with a free VR. If they want to get rid of their PlayStation VR 2. Hey, I'll, I'll think about buying it. I could I also know. see myself getting sucked in by like a... If there's like a fancy version of the Pro. Like imagine a Monster Hunter Wilds one. That's it. Or Straight it away. it comes in black. Oh, well, I'd imagine... I'm not 100% sure, but... Oh, no, like they'd have to have different sorts of plates black. again, wouldn't they? Because... Or Spider-Man. They've already got plain plates for the original PS5. They've got a certain type of plates for the Slim. They're now going to have to have a different version of plates again for the Pro. It's a mess. They could have just had a single panel on the side and not like put their racing stripes through it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. That's what ruins it. That's what ruins it. Because like the panels here for the Slim have to... like They come in four parts, oh, essentially. Gonna... So that's going to suck if you lose one. That's just going to be devastation. Just like, oh, mix it. Especially if you got, especially if you got something like OCD or something. You got one panel and you can't find the other. It's like, oh, just put that one on. It's like you, you can't do that. It's a glossy top half and a matte bottom half too, on the slim. Really? Okay, that's just strange. But hey, people buy it. Yeah. Well, that now it's just the standard PS5. I don't think you can get the original anymore. I can't do like the, oh, the damn, slim. The out. slim is just the PS5 now. So what a shame! I, I missed think, out. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, we'll wrap things up there. If you enjoyed this episode of Patch, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All the buttons down below. Visit the website player2.net.au for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, Patch, the Player Two Pixelcast, and Dev Diary. The Dev Diary podcast feed will ping this Thursday with an update for where the show is at. So stay tuned for that. Um, well, next month, there's going to be this, uh, this exhibition thing called. Packs. Packs, which will give me a, fair, a bit of material as well. So, And finally, Ubisoft's coming back. There's going to be a line. Because Assassin's Creed's going to be Assassin's there. Creed's going to be there, so and that won't be out at that point, so I'll check that out. And then, I don't There'll know. Big queue there, so it means I can go play some indie games, as selfish as that yeah. sounds. <laughs> you <laughs> suckers. Well, I suppose, yeah, Ubisoft was there last year, weren't they? They had Prince of Persia. Yeah, yeah. No, they're just sitting in sea shanties all the time for their silly ship game. Oh, yeah. That went well. It sunk. Um, where are we we're on Patreon go check that one out patreon.com slash player2au kick it a few bucks and finally there's Twitter Matto Matto underscore Phil Paul James Games for myself the website is player2au and as always thanks a lot for watching we'll see you later